What's going on devs? Welcome back to App Dev Channel. In today's episode, we are gonna create from scratch, step by step, a CSS responsive card hover effect. Basically, we are gonna create a card with two parts, face one and face two. In one part, we are gonna have the social network icon on the top, and in the other part, we are gonna have a link and some text. And when you hover over it, it opens and shows the text of the content that you wanna show. As you can see, it's a beautiful project. You can add this one to your website or make this a nice addition to your portfolio. If you're new here and you want to increase your web dev skills, subscribe and you also click that little bell down below so you get notified every time I post a video like this one. Let's get started. Alright devs, start you really from the beginning, okay? Really from scratch. Let's create our index HTML and styles.css, okay? Let's move to the first one and let's create our boilerplate, it's quite simple. And for now, let's move to the title. I really would like to say thank you for my patience, okay? Because you know, each little help motivates me to keep recording new and better videos, so thank you guys. And guys, here we're gonna need a Font Awesome link, so let's copy this one and paste here. This is gonna be for our icons and a link to our CSS. Okay, there, so our boilerplate is done, so now let's move into our HTML, okay? This is gonna be the main container, the one that's gonna wrap around everything, and we're gonna have those cards, okay? The card here is gonna be two face, face one and face two. The face one here, let's have a another container, okay? And this container here is gonna have just one thing, okay? A icon. So let's have this class of icon, and just grab that class from Font Awesome, F A B. FA YouTube okay now allow me show you on the left let's put side by side so we're gonna code on the right and you see the result in real time on the left okay so let me click here and yeah as you can see we have our first icon and now we're gonna move into the second phase of our card okay the phase two the same name for the class we're gonna have a content here and the content is gonna be a H3, simple like that. And here, let's have a, a link pointed to any page you want, okay? And the tag to here is gonna be black. It tells the browser to open in a new window. And for the text in our echo tag, it's gonna be web development, all right? And now let's go to a paragraph, okay? Let me just copy and paste here. And that's it, we have our first card done, at least in HTML, okay? All right, and now we're gonna create the second card, okay? And inside this one, we're gonna have the face, face one. Face one is where we put our icon, okay? So let's have this div content, and inside this one, another one, the class of icon. And in here, let's have a icon and grabbing the class from Font Awesome, okay, FA Facebook Square, and that's it. We have our icon on the left. And now we're gonna create the second part of our card, okay? The bottom part of that one, let's call that Face Face 2, this is the class. We're gonna have a content inside this one, and the content is gonna be this H3. We're gonna have a href pointed to whatever website you want, our case is pointed to my Facebook page here. And again, here the tag is gonna be blank. So the browser has to open it in a new window, okay? For the text here, web development made, uh, made easy, all right? And we need also a paragraph. And again, you can use a Lore, Ipsum, and whatever you want, okay? So that's it. That's the second card is done. And now move to the third one, okay? And here let's have the card inside that one, the face one, the one with the icon. Let's have this div content. And inside this one, the icon, okay? And from here, let's grab the 
icon class from Font Awesome. And as you can see on the left, we have already the Twitter icon, okay? In just five minutes and we are almost over with our HTML patch, okay? We are in our, our third card. Let's go to the last part here, the phase two, the one that has the content inside of it, okay? So now let's have a H3 and inside this one let's have a our link, okay? In our case, it's gonna point it to my Twitter. The tag is gonna be blank again, okay? I explained that already. And for the text here, let's have the Robson Muniz, okay? Robson Muniz 16. And let's have a paragraph. You can have whatever you want here, Lauren Ipsum or whatever, okay? In my case, I'm gonna copy and paste this. We are in the realm of CSS where part of the magic can happen, okay? Margin pad is zero, okay? Like a CSS reset. The mean height is gonna be 100 VH, all right? The background here, let's try this color here, the 333, yeah, nice color. For layout, let's use flex. So now we can apply just five content center along the main axis, align item center along the cross axis, and for font family, let's use some self, something very simple. I don't like the color, so let's change this to background color. Let's pick a white color, okay? You can delete this one. And let's keep moving, okay? Let's go to the second part of it. And we are gonna take the main container of this one, okay? Let's grab container and let's give it a width of 100 pixels, all right? Second thing here, let's give a position of relative, all right? And for the layout, let's use display flex, lending out from left to the right, all right, and horizontally. And let's skip here. Let's just find content. It's gonna be space between. Is self-explanatory. That is a space in between those flex items. Okay. And now we're gonna grab the card itself dot container dot card is a selector and position is going to be relative and that's also apply body radius of 10 pixels and now we're going to take the icon itself so dot container dot card icon and let's start with the position is going to be absolute so now we can say from the top zero and from the left also zero okay position it and the width is gonna be 100%, height also 100% of its parent, okay? Let's also apply some transition, dot seven seconds. Apply Z index of one. So now let's apply to each one of these, its social uh, color, okay? So that container card nth child, okay, so the class nth child, and let's select the first one, the YouTube one, and let's use the YouTube color. Let me just duplicate this one three more times. All right, and now we're done, we can change the color. So this one, the background color here is gonna be FF000 is one, the red color of YouTube, the background of the second one, the Facebook here, 4262B2, and yeah, nice, all right. Let's go to the last one, the Twitter. And here, let's have 00ACAD, and we have the color of those three social network, okay? So now we're gonna use the power of CSS to put those icons just in the middle, okay? Let's take the icon itself and let's position this one to absolute so you can use top and left. From the top, this is gonna be 50%, all right? And from the left, also 50%. Let me show you. The magic is almost done, but you still need to do something else like transform translate minus 50% minus 50% and let me save yeah just in the middle okay the font size here let's increase it to 80 pixels 
and yeah nice size this black color does fit our project so let's change the color to white okay it's much better and let's also apply a transition the transition here is gonna be dot seven seconds and as you can see uh, we start to have a nice project already i start to look at that okay and now we want to give a width and the height to the faces okay so let's grab the container card and face let's give a width of 300 pixels and also a height let's say 200 pixels and much bigger let's apply some transition okay it's gonna be dot five seconds all right and now we're gonna apply same style on the top part of our card okay on the face face one as you remember we have face one top and face two the bottom okay so let's grab now the face one let's start with the position here is gonna be relative the background let's say 333 in case of when I'm change something okay the layout here is gonna be a flex let's try to put everything in the center with just five content center in the main X and the cross X align items gonna be center okay the Z index here is gonna be one always visible and let's transform translating Y direction let's say 100 pixels it's clear that's not enough we can see part of the text here so let me try 112 and yeah now it's okay we want now to grab our container okay the container itself and the card and apply some hover on the card face face one okay the top one we want to change the background you can pick whatever color you want and you also want to change the position for that let's use transform and translate uh, y direction zero okay and as you can see it's working let's keep moving here and let me copy this one and paste it here and in here let's have also the content all right and the content you want the opacity to be one and also apply some transition of dot five seconds let me show you here okay and now let's apply some style also to the, the content all right if i can type looks like it's not the case so the dot container dot card face face one and the content icon okay the max width here is going to be always 100 pixel okay let me show you okay let's go down here and this time let's deal with the content in this one all right Let's select the container dot card dot face and this time face two. Okay, the bottom part of this one. Position is gonna be relative. Background color is gonna be white. Okay, different of our background. Display layout is gonna be a flex. And we also want to just like content center. Put that in the center. Okay, as you know, you're using Flexbox align item center along the cross axis padding is gonna be 20 pixels all around okay and another thing we need here is box sizing border box all right to everything here let's also apply this uh, box shadow okay zero and 20 pixels x and y offset 50 pixels blur and for the color here is gonna be black let me show you yeah we have a nice shadow here and for the transform in order to see our content let's use the transform translate you will remember up here use 112 so you say the height is 200 minus 112 we have 8080 
so to translate y direction 80 80 pixels okay let me type here pixels so that's it okay so let's keep moving we are almost finished it's still in the part two of our card okay the bottom part of this one the one who has the content let's apply a card hover of face face two what you're gonna do you're gonna use transform translate y zero back to its start position okay now let's grab the container the card uh, if i can type face face two here and let's grab the content the paragraph here okay let's get rid of any margin with margin zero also the padding no padding at all padding zero text align center let's try to align the text to the center okay another thing we're gonna do here is change the color let's change this one to this 41 41 41 let me show you okay this looks much better now moving now to our h3 okay the text that allows you to click and go to whatever link you want okay so let me type here content at h3 okay it's this one and you're gonna start by uh apply some margin okay zero zero and 10 pixels and then zero okay second step here the padding let's remove any padding okay the color let's say white no because the background is white so it's not a good idea let's move on to the next one okay and the foot size let's increase that one to 24 pixels is much more visible okay this is the important part of this content let's align the text text align is going to be center as you can see it's already there and now let's grab the color okay and use the same color you have been using since the beginning okay is the 41 41 41 a grayish color let me show you okay nice this was the h3 but now let's grab the anchor tag okay the link itself the container a and let's remove the text decoration so we we'll get rid of that in the line and for the color here let's use the same one okay 41 41 41 and yeah i think it's done okay guys that's all for today i really hope you like it if you like it you know what to do subscribe click that little bell so get notified every time i post a video like this one thumbs up and i will see you in the next video